Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how to create a hydrating mask that will moisturize your natural hair and define your curls after using henna. This is another DIY Ayurvedic hair care treatment that's super easy to make. Want to see how I create this moisturizing hair treatment? Keep watching! So for this intensive moisture mask, you only need four ingredients. You need amla powder, you need raw honey, you also need aloe vera powder, and last but not least, you need a banana. So you can either use half of a banana or a whole banana, depending on the length of your hair. So I start by measuring out two tablespoons of raw, organic, unfiltered honey. So this particular hair mask is meant to bring moisture into the hair. So naturally, honey is our first ingredient. So honey is both a humectant and an emollient, so it draws moisture into the hair strands as well as smooths the hair follicles. So honey is also water soluble, so it mixes easily with water, and I have not found it to be sticky at all when applying it to my hair, so I do not fear honey will get stuck in my hair. So next, I'm adding in my Ayurvedic powders, and first I'm adding in the amla powder. I'm using about five tablespoons or 56 grams of the amla powder. Then I'm going to add in my aloe vera powder, and I used about two teaspoons of this powder. So now I'm just giving both powders a little stir to mix them really well before I move on to my next step. So this next step is super simple. I'm just adding water. I'm using distilled water to mix and combine both of my ingredients to turn my powder into a paste. So you really can eyeball how much water is being added and I want my mixture to resemble how perfect pancake mix would look. So not too thick and not too watery, just somewhere in the middle. So amla and aloe vera powders have become two of my favorites, especially since I've been using henna for my hair. And like I mentioned in my henna video, which by the way, if you have not seen that video, click the little white card above and check it out. So like I was saying, henna can actually loosen up your curl pattern. So I like to use amla powder to bring back the definition to my curl pattern. And then aloe vera powder adds an additional layer of moisture to my hair. So if you want to use an actual aloe vera plant and use the gel from the plant, you can certainly do that too. So for this next step, I'm going to cut up a medium-sized banana into small pieces. So bananas provide the hair with its own natural oils. Bananas help to moisturize the scalp and improve the elasticity of the hair. Bananas can also help to protect the hair from split ends, as well as prevent dandruff and smooth out frizzy hair. So no more frizzy twist outs. Instead of slicing the banana, you can actually just mash it up but for some reason, I like to go ahead and slice mine. Next, I'm going to take my honey and add it into my amla and my aloe vera mix. And you can see how easy it is to add in the honey. It's not sticky at all. So this mask has so many benefits for the hair. Amla powder is known to make the curls pop, but in addition to that, it also enhances the natural color of the hair, making the color look more vibrant. It contains loads of fatty acids that are excellent for the hair's overall health. It also contains flavonoids and alkaloids and amino acids that all get the blood flowing to the scalp. And we all need blood flowing to our scalp for hair growth. So now I'm putting my mixture into my blender so that I can really try and mix it up well together. And also to get out any little clumps that might still be in my mix, which there should not be. And also there shouldn't be a need to use a strainer of any type because all of our ingredients are soft. 
So now I'm adding in my bananas. And like I mentioned before, you can definitely mash up the bananas, which is probably something I should have done since I have such a small amount of mixture. But let's see how this turns out. So when you have a small amount like this, like I said, it's probably better to use a Nutribullet or a really small blender. But since I have this one out, this is what I will be using. Now that my mixture is done blending, I'm going to place it back in a bowl and apply it to my hair straight from the bowl. I'm going to inspect it to make sure that all of my bananas are blended and look there's a little banana that is not blended well it's still in there so guys yes it is probably a good idea to go ahead and mash up the bananas first so I went ahead and I mashed up the little pieces that were left over off camera and now my mix is ready so before I apply the hair mask, I'm going to wash my hair to remove any product buildup. And I'm going to be using my go-to shampoo, TGIN. It is their moisture-rich, sulfate-free shampoo. Guys, I love this shampoo. It has coconut oil in it. It has amla oil in it. It is one of the only shampoos that does not make me sneeze. I have been trying to figure out what ingredients is in some of the shampoos that I've used in the past that makes me sneeze. And for the life of me, I cannot figure it out go ahead and drop me a comment in the comment section below to let me know if you've noticed any allergies or sneezing with any of the shampoos that you've used I would love to find that out and as with every shampoo I like to massage my scalp to get the blood circulating to promote hair growth So now that my hair is clean, I'm going to start applying the hair mask from roots to ends. And I literally have so many powerful ingredients in this hair mask, my hair is going to love me. So I have honey that attracts moisture, the amla powder is going to help define my curls. Amla is filled with iron to get the blood flowing to my scalp, which in turn stimulates hair growth. The aloe is an extra layer of moisture. It conditions and encourages new growth. And my banana has potassium and vitamins that the hair needs to flourish, and it's gonna help protect against split ends. So this is an all-in-one hair mask that's super easy to make. Don't forget, if you make this mask, be kind to your scalp and give your scalp a little massage.
So guys, ingredients for this intensive Ayurvedic hair mask can be found in the description box below. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share this video with someone else who loves their hair. This was so much fun and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.